You look like a snake! Watch out for the snakes. Watch out for the snakes. Yeah, watch out for the snakes. Watch out for the snakes. Yeah, watch out for the copying what I do every time. They wanna take what's mine. They busy faking and telling me lies. Now I watch out for the snakes. How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you f with it? So yeah, I had fun the last time I did this, but I feel like I can do better. So everyone loves a sequel. Snakes fascinate and terrify me beyond words. I love learning about them. When I was doing the last snakes that can kill you, I realized there was a lot more snakes that can kill humans. And with that, I picked 15 more snakes. These snakes have the potential to kill you, but that doesn't mean they want to. It just means that the method of getting prey can be lethal to humans. Like before, this is not in any order. Other than the continent, you can find them. Also, this time, some are not on land and some are not venomous. Oh, is this gonna be fun. Let's start in South America and then move up to North America. Meet the world's largest snake. They can grow up to 30 feet long and weigh up to 550 pounds. Green anacondas are native to the river systems, mostly the Amazon River in South America. Because of their size, they spend a lot of time in the water. They kill their prey by hugging them, constricting blood flow like a psycho-hungry MMA fighter. So what do they eat? Anything they can fit in their mouth without causing damage. Which it is a snake. All snakes have a jaw structure that allows the animal to swallow things bigger than its own head. Considering adults can eat deer, capybara, caimans, and large birds, it isn't such a stretch that the anaconda can possibly eat a human if the opportunity presented itself. It is, after all, one of the few snakes that can eat humans. We will get to the other one later. But anyways, attacks on humans are really rare. Which to me is funny because if you've ever seen one of these things, you would think that it, they would happen more often than what they do. Anyways, for now, let's talk about some venomous snakes, shall we? Found in Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay, this five-foot-long pit viper's venom has been used in the development of drugs. The peptides in its venom help produce drugs to aid in hypertension and congestion of heart failure. And it comes from the same family as the Fertilance and the Golden Lancehead Viper. Its venom, if not treated right away, causes the following symptoms. Local swelling, bleeding from the gums and incoagulable blood. But in the more serious, it can cause intracranial hemorrhaging and kidney failure. The Jararaca's venom yield can be as small as 25 to 26 milligrams or as large as 300 milligrams. The average lethal dose for a human would be around 70 milligrams for a 133 pound person. Now time to go to North America. Cottonmouths look like water snakes, but there's a massive difference between the two. Water snakes are non-venomous. Cottonmouths are venomous and will warn you by opening its mouth. And when it does, the inside is white as cotton, which is where it gets its name. These snakes can grow up to 4 feet and weigh up to 4 pounds. They're found in the southern United States from Texas to Florida. The snake is closely related to another snake found all over the United States, the copperhead. While deaths are rare, the venom is cytotoxic, meaning it will attack and destroy cells. Causing necrosis to occur and tissue damage can lead to amputation. In extreme cases, it does cause death. The venom yield for cottonmouth can be between 80 to 237 milligrams of venom. The lethal dose to a human is unknown, but it is theorized it can be around 100 to 150 milligrams. This is one large rattlesnake. The maximum length of these snakes can reach up to 8 feet and can weigh up to 10 pounds. These snakes avoid people at all costs and most bites happen because people bug them. They can accurately strike at one third their body length. They also have the largest fangs of any rattlesnake in the United States. They also have been known to strike without warning from their rattles. While antivenom for this snake is widespread, if you are stupid and decide that you are fine, 
your red blood cells will dissolve in your body and you will have tissue damage. It is hemotoxin. It can kill you. That's mostly because they have a really high venom yield. 400 to 450 milligrams. A lethal dose to a human is 100 to 150 milligrams. Like last time, now we're heading to Africa. The green mamba is an elusive species, rare and shy. Females tend to get over six feet long, while males tend to be smaller at only five feet. They are more coastal than the black mamba, found in East Africa and on the coastlines. They are diurnal, meaning they're only active during the day. They're also very agile and can climb trees with ease. While less aggressive than the black mamba, there have been opinions shared that they are just as unpredictable. Symptoms of the bite include gangrene, difficulty breathing and swallowing, irregular heartbeat, convulsions, and paralysis. The venom yield of mamba is 60 to 95 milligrams, but I couldn't find a lethal dose for a human. But considering that it's considered one of the most highly venomous snakes, I am sure it doesn't take that much to kill an adult human. God, I love this snake's name. On average, this snake can grow up to 3 feet and weigh up to a pound. They are rear fanged snakes who live solely in trees. They are also diurnal. Normally a snake the size of the boomslang wouldn't have the venom necessary to harm humans. They would have small venom glands. But the boomslang is an exception because its venom is a hemotoxic venom that causes internal and external bleeding. Also because the venom is slow acting, those who are bitten sometimes get the feeling all is going to be fine because they haven't had any symptoms in hours. So the time a person could spend getting anti-venom could be spent thinking there was nothing wrong. So after a while of thinking you're okay, the venom is causing you to bleed out. The venom yield is up to 8 milligrams of venom, but these snakes are shy and not aggressive. Only reported bites come from people handling the snake. Cleopatra is thought to have used an Egyptian cobra to kill herself. Though records say she was killed by an asp, it is believed that it was actually an Egyptian cobra. They can grow up to four feet long and like all cobras, I feel compelled to boop the snoot. They're pretty much found in every climate in northern Africa, including deserts and savannas, and mostly near water. Their venom causes respiratory failure due to it attacking the nervous system. With a venom yield of 175 to 300 milligrams, it doesn't take much to kill a human, with its LD50 being 1.1 five milligrams to kilograms. LD50 is the minimum amount of venom needed to kill a person by the milligrams of the venom to the person's weight. Now it's time to give Asia some love. Found in India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Nepal, these snakes are one of the four species of snakes that have caused the most bites in India. They are also one of the snakes you see snake charmers performing for. The average size of four feet and weighing up to six pounds, they are also known as a spectacle cobra for the patterns on their hood. They eat a variety of things such as small mammals, frogs, birds, and other snakes. Much like the Egyptian cobra, the venom of this snake attacks the nervous system leading to respiratory failure. The venom yield on the Indian cobra is between 169 and 250 milligrams, and bites can be fatal to humans, but it is on a case-to-case -case basis. Mean another snake that's responsible for bites in India. The Russell's Viper has a pointed head and blunt snout, perfect for boops if it wasn't dangerous. It can grow up to four feet long and is found in the same places as the Indian Cobra. It is mostly nocturnal but will come out in the daytime during cooler weather. They are natural pest control because they mostly feed on rodents, but they have been known to chow down on land crabs, scorpions, and lizards. The venom of this snake can lead to kidney, cardiac, or respiratory failure. With a venom yield of 150 to 250 milligrams, it only takes 40 to 70 milligrams to be lethal to a human.
This snake can be considered an African snake too because it can be found in North Africa, but it's also found in Pakistan and Sri Lanka, so I put in the Asia category. These guys are little, at most growing up to 12 inches long. They are named for the scales looking like saw teeth up close, and though they are little, their venom is massively ridiculous. Their venom consists of four types of toxins, neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, hemotoxins, and cytotoxins. This can lead to intracranial hemorrhaging. Their venom yield is varied based on the size, but we will go with the average length, which is the yield of 20 to 35 milligrams. Off the coast of China, in the waters, in the coral reefs lives a sea snake that looks cute and harmless. At 34 inches long and weighing a pound, these snakes spend most of their lives in the ocean. It hides in coral and strikes at fish with a nasty toxin that is 10 times stronger than a cobra. They do come on land and are attracted to bright lights. But they are also timid and care little for attempting to harm anyone. It will bite if handled, but if you just stare at it, it mostly will just leave. Its bite causes hypertension, cyanosis, paralysis, and potentially death if left untreated. This is due to its powerful neurotoxin. I couldn't find the venom meal, but if it's 10 times stronger than a cobra, I really don't want to find out. Pythons are pretty to look at, and these pythons are the longest pythons in the world. They are found everywhere in Asia except for Russia and can grow up to 20 feet long. They can weigh up to 165 pounds. They are insanely strong and the largest specimens will eat primates, deer, and pigs. So remember when I said green anacondas are capable of killing humans and that it's rare that for that to happen? Well, not only will the reticulated python prey on humans, but there are records of them doing so. Here are some examples. In September 1995, a 29-year-old rubber tapper from southern Malaysian state of Johor was reported to have been killed by a large reticulated python. In October 2008, a 25-year-old woman appeared to have been killed by a 13-foot pet reticulated python. In June of 2020, a 16-year-old Indonesian boy was attacked and killed by a 23-foot, 0-inch python in Indonesia. So they will attack humans, and when they get a hold of you, it is hard to get free. And now, last but not least, we go back to the place that God decided to put everything that wants to murder you, Australia. We start with a snake found in Queensland and Tasmania, the tiger snake. Typically only three feet in length, they are found in wetlands and creeks. They are typically responsible for 17% of snake bites in Australia. They are normally aggressive when approached, so it's best to stay away from them. Symptoms of a bite include localized pain in the foot and neck region, tingling, numbness, sweating, followed by fairly rapid onset of breathing difficulties and paralysis. The venom yield of the tiger snake is 10 to 40 milligrams. Since most people in Australia live in the coastlines, most people will run into this snake more than their cousin, the inland taipan. They can grow up to four feet long. It is also diurnal and will become nocturnal when the weather is too hot. Its venom is a neurotoxin that affects the nervous system and blood's ability to clot. Bite victims may experience headache, nausea, vomiting, convulsions, paralysis, internal bleeding, and kidney damage. Venom yield is 120 milligrams and it doesn't take a lot to kill an adult human. Dubois sea snakes can be found off the coast of India as well, but they can be found off the coast of Western Australia. It is one of the most venomous sea snakes in the world. At two feet long, the Dubois sea snake has a slightly whiter head than its neck and large nostrils. It hunts in coral reefs and its venom is the third most potent venom in the world. Symptoms include headaches, sweating, vomiting, body aches, muscle stiffness, and eventually paralysis. It also has a small venom yield of 0.43 milligrams. Before I close this video out, there is one snake I want to touch on. Call it a bonus. Found in South America, this snake was an apex predator of its time. It lived during the late Paleocene and grew up to 50 feet in length. It was known as the Titanoboa. It's a stuff of nightmares because it means it could kill a human. But they are extinct, which is why they are not on the list. But I just wanted to put them in with a brief summary. 
And with that, I would like to say don't mess with snakes unless you're a herpetologist or have training to do so. Snakes don't want to waste their time with us. They would rather live their lives. All except the reticulated pythons, apparently. But either way, thank you for joining me on another trip looking at snakes. I might do a part three in the future, but I have other things that deserve my attention. 